Hey guys, welcome back. This is Cars and Cloud. In this video, I'm going to deploy Citrix workspace applications in um, in SCCM. So first of all, I'm going to create an SCCM package and then deploy it to the um, desktop Windows 10 machines. So here is the contents of Citrix workspace version 9.12. And I have a Citrix cleanup. Citrix uh, cleanup utility, this allows you to clean up, to remove all versions or previous version of Citrix receiver. And the Citrix workspace itself here is the installation file. This will install the version is 19.12. So now let's take a look at the bat file that I created. We're going to right click and then edit. Let's go to format, word wrap. So here is the first line. I'm telling the bad file here to run the cleanup utility before installing Citrix uh, workspace. So it's going to be run silently. Um, and then after that it's going to install Citrix workspace. So the command line for this one, uh, for the first one is silent. This should be suppress any um, prompt to the users. And the Citrix workspace app, uh, you need to put in the slash silent. And you want to do a force install. With the force install, it should also remove previous version of Citrix receiver. You can um, do your own testing. You don't really need this one with the slash force install. So the next command is the slash auto update checked equals disable. So it's going to disable the um, auto update check once it's installed on the user's computer. So slash single sign on. I enable the um, single sign on. Enable single sign on equals yes. Equals yes here. So that means it's going to use the current user's credentials to log on to Citrix receiver. Self service mode is enable. I mean disable or false equals to false. It's a lot. It's um the service mode will not be available. Enable CEIP, also false. And allow save PWD, that means allow save password. User will allow, will be able to save their password. That's equals to A. Allow add store, this will allow you to add store. No, and me no. The user not not will be able to um, to add store. So here is the store that I have for my website. It's so you want to put in store equals to quote. You need to put in the whole quote here and semicolon and HTTPS um, the whole. Um, URL, comma, uh, sim sorry, semicolon, on, semicolon, car, and the name of the storefront is car cloud storefront. So this is command line to add store to the installation. So now we're going to run the install. First of all, we're going to create the, uh, the SCCM package. Let's go ahead and do that. So I got the UNC of the installation. I want to go software library. Go to application management. Go to applications. Right click and create application. It's going to be manual application. So it's called Citrix. I'm going to paste it here. 
So it is Citrix Workspace 1912 Publish Publisher Citrix Software version. I just put 1912. Everything else you can just ignore it. Click next. You can skip this section. <clears throat> Keywords, you can just call it Citrix um, or Workspace. Click Next. Go into Add a Deployment Type. Click on Add. I'm going to do Script Installer. Click Next. So it is. Um, let me paste this call. So, so, Citric Workspace 12 slash install. That's the name. <clears throat> Comments, language. I'm going to skip these two items. Click next. Content location. Go to paste where the content is. Install programs. Click on browse. It's going to take me to. Make sure you change to all files and click on install.bat. This is my installation files. Uh, click next. Detection method. I'm going to add a clause here. It's going to be a registry. It's going to be H key local machines. So if you want to know what it is, you just have to um, manually install the Citric receiver and look in the registry for the display name. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to put that here. Value. It's going to be display name. This is the string. The this registry settings going to be equals to. So here's the uh, display name. I'm going to copy that and put it here. So this is the information for the detection method. Click OK. Click Next. It's going to install for system. Log on requirement is going to be whether user not log in. Uh, whether or not user log on, installation program normal. I'm going to change this to 60 minutes. Maximum time allowed. Click next. Next again. And next. There's no dependency. Keep going. Next. Next. I'm going to close this out. Let's go back here. Here's the package. I'm going to distribute to the DP. Next, next, add distribution point. And next. <clears throat> now I'm going to deploy it to my test machines. I'm going to right click and go to deploy. Choose the device. I'm going to make it available to all systems. Then I can install it from Software Center. Next. Next. It's going to be available. So this means I have to go into Software Center and manually install it. If I want to require, I mean, it's going to install the software on all system in my environment. Click next, next again. Use the notification. That's fine. Click next and next. Close. 
let's give it a few minutes. Um, it's before we can test it. All right, so here I'm at my test machine. Let's go to control panel. Let's force the policy. Configuration manager. Action. Machine policy retrieval. It should take about five minutes. Let's go to software center. Actually, I do. Oh, no, never mind. So as you can see, I don't have such a trick receiver installed on this machine yet. All right, looks like it's not here yet. I don't see the applications. Let's wait a few minutes. All right, as you can see, I have such Citrix uh, workspace shows up in Software Center. Let's install it. I'm going to click on it and then click on install. Let's take a look at the cache folder. It should downloading the contents. Let's give it some time. Oops, there it is. Here is the installation files. It's temporary downloading. As you can see, it is installing. Here it is, the Citrix um, contents. So as you can see, it's finished. Not finished, but oh, it's finished now. And as you can see, the icon has pop up or run on the low right hand corner here. So that's it, folks. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, don't please don't forget to subscribe and have a great day.